Hey, my name is Devin and welcome to All Things Food, a culinary journal. On today's episode, I'll be making a braised cabbage curry. This is a simple and delicious meal from my childhood that not only celebrates such an overlooked vegetable, but also sparks a ton of memories for me every time I eat it. Yep, you can make more than just coleslaw with cabbage. So if you're ready, sit back, relax, and let's get cooking. We're gonna start by doing a little bit of prep for the curry. Let's begin with an onion. This recipe only requires half an onion, but I had a really big onion here, so if you have a small onion, this will work perfectly fine. Onions will form the base for our curry, so slice these pretty thin. Now, let's cut up the cabbage. Cabbage comes in a few different varieties, but for this recipe, try and track down either a white or green cabbage. This will shrink down during the cooking process, so don't be too precious on how you cut it. I like to slice mine in a way that gives each little piece just a little bit of length. And finally, we're gonna peel some potatoes. I have about three medium-sized potatoes here. I like to cut these up into quarters, and you want to roughly keep these the same size, so when they cook, they all cook evenly. Now, let's move on to our stove. Place a large pot, or in my case, a wok, on a medium-high heat. To the pot, begin to add about three tablespoons of oil. I tend to use a neutral oil, like canola for this recipe, as using olive oil, for instance, would just taint the flavor profile that we're trying to achieve. When the oil gets up to temp, add in two dried chilies. Give your chilies a good stir, making sure to cover them in the hot oil. The chilies will begin to change color from a vibrant red to a really dark, beautiful blackish red. As soon as this color change occurs, remove your chilies and place aside for later. Now, let's move on to our dry spices. And to the pot, we're gonna add one teaspoon of cumin seeds and one teaspoon of black mustard seeds. As soon as the seeds hit the oil, they will start to splatter and jump around. Give this mixture a stir for about 15 to 30 seconds. And then add in your sliced onions. Give this mixture a quick stir, allowing it to cook for another 15 to 30 seconds. Now, add in your diced potatoes. Give everything a good mix, making sure nothing sticks to the bottom of our pot. It's time for our cabbage. Try and add in the sliced cabbage in portions, spreading the slices as you add them into the pot. With the cabbage added, we're going to give our whole mixture another stir, making sure to get everything covered in that amazing cumin, black mustard seed, and chili oil. Once the mixture is all stirred, Drop on our black chilies. Then add in around 50 milliliters of water and half a teaspoon of salt. Then cover and cook on a medium heat until the potatoes are soft. While the curry is cooking away, let's go ahead and chop some fresh coriander to finish off the dish. Roll and squeeze the coriander together to form a small parcel. Then slice it roughly. Let's head back to the curry. After about 10 minutes of cooking, use a butter knife and insert it into one of the potatoes. If the knife glides through without too much resistance, then your curry is done. If not, give it a couple more minutes with the lid on and check it again. Sprinkle the freshly sliced coriander over the braised cabbage curry. Turn off the heat and allow it to sit covered for another 10 minutes before serving. 
And there you go, braised cabbage curry. This dish is super quick and super easy for a weeknight meal. And it pairs really nicely with some lovely soft handmade rotis. You can find that recipe by clicking the pop-up link in the top right hand corner of your screen. Well, I hope you enjoyed that cooking adventure with cabbage. I will be creating more videos in the weeks to come, so if you'd like to see more of me in my kitchen just cooking and doing things, then please subscribe to this channel. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.